In this video, I'm gonna explain how we can import a background from Photoshop to 3D Cutout. Each layer of the background will be converted into an object in 3D Cutout. Also, every group in Photoshop can be an object in 3D Cutout. The name of each layer in 3D Cutout will be the same of that object. Therefore, the naming of layer in background is really important when you do it you do your design in Photoshop then the naming should really describe the objects put one of the characters into the background and check the relation the scale of background to the character and character to the background because it might be in different scales before we decide to export the file we save a uh, reference of that in JPEG format and later in 3D cutout we use this reference for layers alignment some of the layers might exceed our canvas in order to see all the layers we can we can resize our canvas and now we can see all the layers which might not fit into the canvas some of the layers take more space in the scene for instance this cloud is a layer which is really large but the quality is not really important here then we can scale it in photoshop to decrease the size and then later scale it back to the, to the original size in 3d cutout because the quality is not really important for them but the texture is fairly large we don't touch other layers except the ground the ground is a large texture but but we need to have a large ground texture in the scene because if we zoom in ground texture fools all the scene in order to make this layer lighter we can make a tile of this texture how can we make a tile of a texture we open a new file in the size like 2000 to 2000 and we remember this 2000 size because later we will use it then we did, then we choose one piece of the ground texture which looks good like this and we remove the background layer go to filter menu other offset if you remember the canvas we created for this file was 2000 to 2000 and here we change the offset number to 1000 which is half of that number but of course if we want the offset to be in the good size then we have to crop the file so we crop it then go to filter other offset and then 1000 and ok now we have a tile texture and we just need to correct this line in this in the middle patch tool is handy in this case to just fade this line out we just select this line and then shift it a bit and paste it okay now this texture is tiled which is which means that if we put it in a larger file and clone it then we can then it's somehow symmetric so that there won't be any border in between the tiles so it can look like a like large object so we can make it as large as we want then we save it as tile in png format let's call it ground tile and later in 3d cutout we will ex explain how to import this tile okay now let's go back to the background some of the layers some of the layers here we cannot really see how large they are like this one which is like transparent so we cannot really see the real size of it so let's decrease the size and later in 3d cutout we scale it back to the real size since we made a tile of ground layer then we don't need this ground layer so we delete it go to file script PSL exporter we put a name for that and this name should be the same as we want to use as background in 3d cutout later In order to import the backgrounds we have exported in Photoshop into 3D Cutout, 
we use environment generator. We press load PSL and then the PSL file we have exported using Photoshop will be loaded. The layers we have previously scaled down, we want to scale them back up. For this we can click load image and go to the reference file in, G in JPG we have saved previously. It's good to push the reference layer a bit backwards so that we can easily select the layers. Now we just scale up the whole background to the reference image. And again, according to the scale of the reference, we scale up the layers we have previously scaled down in Photoshop, like this cloud. Using pivot key, we can also change the pivot of the object, which is the reference point for scaling and moving. Now we press load image and open the tile image of ground we have previously created. Using tile texture we can increase the tile of the ground. Increase the texture of the ground and this, you see that there is no uh, like tiling effect. There is no tiling effect in that. So now we don't need the reference anymore so we can just delete it. Now we want to measure the size of the background compared to a character we have previously saved. So then we go to Asset Browser, choose a character, and then we scale the whole background in respect to the character we have loaded. and then we delete this character. First we choose the category we want to save the background in and then make a thumbnail of the background and then we insert the name of the prefix which is by default is the three first letter of the name we have chosen for the background. Then we check the scale checkbox and then we save the background. Now the background is saved. In order to see it in Asset Browsers, so we go to Background and see the background there. We can just load it to the scene and also in Environments tab we have a category with the same name of the background we have. And this name is automatically created there in which we have all the layers in that background as object format that we can separately insert them to the scene. The name of each objects we have in, in this environment is the name we have chosen in Photoshop for them. 